All right, so in the last section, we briefly touched on the sampling distribution of p hat. Um, essentially, the AP is going to the AP probably uses these problems mostly for the short answer question, but it also may appear in the multiple choice section. Um, essentially, for the first one, we have sampling proportions, and essentially these problems are really really easy. Uh, we actually can we actually have the ability to do this on our calculators. And you can actually even do normal approximations for them, but there's also, you first have to match up the normal approximation with the conditions, because if the conditions aren't met, you can't use a normal approximation for it. So first off, your sample has to be big enough in comparison to the population, where the big N is denoted by the population, and the small N is denoted by the, uh, what's it called, uh, sample. On the other hand, also your probability and essentially 1 minus the probability, or sometimes it's called Q in math, those also when multiplied have to be greater than or equal to 10. This just ensures that your data is evenly spaced out and that, it's, that it makes an approximate normal curve. Up here we have that essentially for sampling distributions, you ha the mean of every sample is, is if, uh, given that the sample is big enough, is going to follow the mean of the population, but your standard deviation is basically calculated through p, q, over n, taking the, and then you take the whole square root of that. Uh, this and sample means both appear on the AP, and if you don't remember which one is for which case, uh, remember that proportions gives you actually like numerical values, so they could possibly give you a question such as calculate the probability between, I don't know, given that, that, that you can probably, uh, that's a good question actually, um, like let's say calculate the probability that whatever case happens, like that if given in a population of where something happens that it's 0.6, uh, calculate the probability that you, your sample has a probability, that calculate the probability inside the sample that is greater than 0.7. So usually this is for given for, um, what's it called, percentage points, and the sample means are actually giving you actual values. That way you can, if you don't remember what's the difference between the two, you can just kind of go through it that way. Uh, on the other hand, we have sample means. And sample means are essentially the same thing. You, we are assuming that it hits the storm, normal standard curve. And you can actually go through it like this, where x bar is the mean of the sample of the SRS that we're using. And the mean of the sample is equal to the mean of the population. Uh, your standard deviation is also equal to the sigma of the, popula of the population divided by the square root of the size of the entire sample that we are using. Uh